They say never judge a book by its character. And yet, in today's society, that's exactly what the masses typically uh, conduct themselves as in relating, identify, and association, uh, and existing with others to a certain degree. They see you in a certain state and their impression becomes formed in whatever manner into which they um, assume you to be in their identification. And yet, more times than not, we actually cheat ourselves in our attempts of getting to know each other merely due to the instinct or need or indulgence of uh, you know instantly identifying them by their interpretation and not allowing any form of uh, possible exception or reevaluation or consideration of there being any form of uh, Uh, what's the word I want to look for here? Um, uh, misidentification? Nah, it's got to be something easier than that. Uh, picture me on any given day. A respectable person in society by my own... Uh, um, belief and yet um, the feeling that I transmit to others as we uh, pass each other in life has more of the tendency of causing more of a defensive reaction due to the initial outside interpretation as to whom I impress myself to be identified with by others. I'm walking down a dark street on my own trying to get from point A to point B and there is another person, man or woman, walking down that same street and happen to glance upon my dark figure. Um and instantly interpret my existence in a um, fearful, if not um, protective manner. You know, we've all seen the examples of being in an elevator with strangers. And due to the mere fact that on, on first... Uh, you know, on first identifications, they assume you to be a threat. They're uncomfortable with you. Um, as a person of color, um, befriending others of other races or cultures or whatnot, only to hear them uh, express how unique, um, how uh, refreshing, even impressive they found you after experiencing more of your character and existence to a point of going, when I first met you, I thought you were just some typical, average, 
person of color that I've been, you know, conditioned to uh, define in a certain stereotype. But you are really, really different. You're uh, really, really different. I mean, normally I don't like people of color, but you're so unlike the image into which I uh, assume people of color to generally be that I found myself not even defining you is your race or color or culture or whatnot. You're an exception. And yet, so few times in our associations with others, it's become more of a norm for us to uh, assume that all you are is what someone else interprets you to be with no sense of exception worth allowing more of a identification than just what they want to indulge or engage or associate with you for um, being identified as a black male. Um, has a tendency of causing some to become more uh, enlightened at a point in time that they find more of your character, the layers of your existence to be refreshing at such a degree that they lose the ability to identify you in the standard manner into which you um, exist in. Oh, man. You're really, really cool for a black guy. You know, you're really, really uh, cool for a white guy. You're really, really cool for a man. You're really cool for a woman. Wow. I never would have thought that you know, uh, I could relate to someone that I never believed uh, existed. Living in a state into which I've grown to date, one of the most uncomfortable existences that I've had to deal with is this very instinct. Because... Too many people sleep on too many people just because um, they seldom expect to be any more uh, misconstrued in their initial identifications honorably. We never stop and get to know the deeper layers of the individuality that exist in all of us. Many are perfectly okay with that. They don't want to include any more value in whom they recognize you to be because that would really frustrate their their typical uh, style of uh, existence. I am not my color, my race, my shape, my size, my features, and yet I'm posting this in a manner of hoping that someone out there can understand the frustration uh, and the disappointment 
that many of us experience when we are devalued uh, due to the intention of us only being required to fit the image into which they desire you to be in, nothing more, nothing less. Does any of that make any sense to you? Are you feeling where I'm coming from here? Pick it up where I'm going, pull what I'm putting down, or not? 